Good to be here in tropical Provo. I think they're telling me to retire. I think that's what they're doing there. After, right after the show, maybe quit and that's your front yard. <laughs> this is my first time here. This is a very scenic place. I grew up in Syracuse, New York. That's the snowiest city in the whole country. And uh, they don't even acknowledge it. I remember as a kid seeing an ice cream truck with a snowplow blade come down the street going, here you go, right there. <laughs> now, I assume most people are from the Provo area, but uh, we might have some out-of-town guests. Uh, my advice when you travel, no matter where you go, don't tell the locals what you're doing. Because no matter what, they're like, that stuff's all touristy. <laughs> go, yeah, well, I'm a tourist. <laughs> you want me to get a job this week? Would that make it really good? <laughs> Get back to work all sunburned. People, hey, where'd you go, the Caribbean? No, I ended up roofing in Florida. I, uh... <laughs> but this is a beautiful town. I went up to the campus and took some photos. You got the dramatic mountains in the back. It's unbelievable. Then you ever send someone a photo that's... Uh, says, Cell phone cameras don't capture that. You send it to someone else. Like, what are you, putt-putt golfing? Where are you? I go, no, it's the, it's the real thing right there. So good to be with you. So I'll tell by myself, I'm a married man. We have some married folks here, I'm sure, huh? Yeah. I just got married four years ago. I was a little late. I was an older, older groom. I'm glad I waited, because you know, guys in their 20s are very shallow. They just care about looks. But as you mature, you look for a soulmate with money. That's what it is. <laughs> I was always hoping to meet a woman with a raspy voice. That's very attractive to men, right? When we hear a woman with a raspy voice, we think, hey, maybe she's all done yelling. Anyone engaged in the room? Do we have some young love? Anyone engaged? No? I like meeting the engaged people because I feel like I have wisdom, finally, because by the time I got married, my friends were all married, and they gave me a great tip. They go, hey, when you plan the wedding, Whatever you order, if the vendors find out it's for a wedding, they raise their prices. Oh, okay. So we were sly. We went to the bakery together. We go, hey, we need a three-layer cake with a formal couple on top for a fundraiser. Uh, uh, our friends got injured ballroom dancing. <laughs> Then you gotta reserve hotel rooms way in advance if you have out of town friends. So my, my wife handled that, she called up the hotel. She goes, hi, yeah, we need to reserve a dozen hotel rooms for next November of next year. And uh, we're hoping to get a discount because uh, it's for a funeral. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.